All right, welcome back. So here we are with chapter four of Butterfly City in Heaven's Cradle, which is Ida School part two. This is Heaven's Cradle. The group stopped the great clock from going backwards. Now they race towards the core of the dream world, room 404. She won't be able to seal our abilities. However, we will still have to face my dream world double. Yes, we can safely assume that she escaped the ice chain. The best I could do was stop her from interfering with Claude. That was all we needed at the time. Thanks to you, everything went as planned. I'm sure we encounter her again on the fourth floor of the hospital. Third time's the charm, they say. We'll beat her for sure. It's time we paid a visit to Mayu in her hospital room. Room 404 is at the heart of this world, this dream world. All right, back to the hospital. Are we gonna get through this time? Who knows? All right, back to the first floor. I like how the elevator is like, this only goes to even number floors. And then you're like, I wanna go to the first. And it's like, okay, one is even, I guess. Oh, that's awesome, dude, you're doing like, fairly well for your first time really speaking it that well. <clears throat> Alright. Here we come, Mayu. Oh, that's right, everybody's asleep in here. Fourth floor. Hmm. Third floor? Oh, that's right, we have to... Yeah. We have to walk over from the third floor. That means I have to get past this guy. Huh. <laughs> All right, a major trial awaits you beyond this point. Proceed. Yes, let's do it. Uh, there are four in this section. I'm on. This is. This should be the last one. We're almost on the fourth floor. Let's go to Mayu's room. What do you want? You don't fool me, you shameless imposter. Mayu and the other Isuka. Thought you'd be rid of Aisuka if you just destroyed the clock. How naive of you. The dream world Aisuka made it out alive. Of course she did. She's invincible. Your pathetic chain attack was useless against her. I mean, it did stop her, so... You're wrong about me, Mayu. I'm not nearly as perfect as you seem to think. I'm not sure what you've heard about me, but I must have failed somewhere if this is the image you have of me in your mind. I blame no other than myself for the delusion you have of my perfection, but I will tear it down. I'm sorry, Mayu. Don't talk to me in her voice. You're a fake. Be gone from my world. Aisuka, please expel these intruders once and for all. She can't tell what is real anymore. Getting lost in this fantasy must have been her only way to cope. However, this world is built out of sorrow. Let's put an end to it. I bear no ill will against any of you, but I'm afraid I must remove you from the equation. Fastest in the world, that is the very definition of my existence here. You're probably right, but I'm not giving up yet. Oh yeah, full AF already? Let's do it. Oh, wow. She took a lot of damage very quickly. I'm just hitting for no reason at this point. <laughs> Impossible. How could you have surpassed me? Looks like I lose this round. Sorry, Mayu. 
Oh, is she just gonna poof? Impossible. No one in the world is faster than Asuka. She's just an illusion. Once you see through a trick, it fails to impress any longer. Mayu, we need to reach the focal point of this world. Can you show us to room 404? Hmm. Even this hospital is no longer safe. I need to find a new place where I can dream on in peace. I'll have to leave this place and go far, far away. I hoped she'd step out. Mm. Excuse me. I'd hoped she'd snap out of it and listen to us. We should hurry. There's no telling what she might do now. Yes, let's investigate the fourth floor. We must reach room 404 before Mayu does. Alright, well, sitting here talking about it ain't gonna do that. Also, if she just flew straight there, how on earth would we reach it before she does? Oh, man. What's going on here? Alright. Nope. Not that way. Time to send you where you belong. I have not, no. I, the only part of, outside the U.S. I've ever been to is to Canada. And even then, it was, like, literally at the border. I would like to go. It would be, I think it'd be really cool. There's a lot of cool, cool places out there that I'd, I'd like to visit, but... We'll see. I don't get a whole lot of time to travel. I've got two kids, so... It kind of keeps me in place. So this is Dream World for Room 404. Doesn't look like anything special. I can't deal with the suspense. Let's just go in already. <laughs> like Aldo's like, yeah, we're not going to sit here and talk about the door. Let's just go. Guns when watching movies. There really aren't as many guns out here as everybody seems to... As the perception is. Is this the real Mayu? She's like a completely different person from the Mayu we saw soaring in the sky, clad in a white uniform. Mayu. She's in a coma. Just like Saki in the previous incident, her consciousness is locked away. Don't come any closer. There she is. No time to come up with a plan. Mayu, or should I say, Mayu's guardian. Don't touch her. Let's keep her dreaming in heaven's cradle. What the? Oh dang, she disappeared. She vanished. Where's she gone? Mayu, what pushed you to do this? I could ask you the same question. What pushed you to come here and interfere with my dream? I thought you were on my side. I'm sorry, but I have no reason to side with you. At least not as you are now. You don't remember it then. What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. I was a fool thinking you'd remember me. Of course you wouldn't. I only want one thing of you. Leave me alone. Wait. Tell me what it is I forgot. Where is she? Hmm. Excuse me, my goodness. Has she flown off? The real Mayu disappeared as well. She didn't want us to touch the real Mayu. This is consistent with what we have observed in other dream worlds. Well, at least wherever it is they fled to is probably the last place they can hide. There's nowhere else for them to go, huh? We need to find them. I must speak with the real Mayu. But how can we catch up to them? They've flown off into the sky. Before we look for a way to follow after them, there's something I'd like to check. Huh? The burning ward of this hospital. Huh? 
It's not just burning curiosity, I suppose. You're hoping to find some information regarding Mayu, aren't you? I'm not quite sure what I expect to find, but I feel as if it might help me remember something crucial to the case. Maybe there was some connection between me and Mayu in the past. Okay then, let's go and check it out. Hehe, <laughs> I knew you'd be on board with it. You're serious? You want to enter that burning building? Won't be my first time. I've been in a burning castle before. <laughs> Excellent, Aldo. You don't need to expose yourself to danger, Saki. Wait for us outside if you want. That won't do. If it's to help Mayu, I'm going in with you. Alright then. Looks like you're all fired up for it. I was ready to go by myself, but I'm glad you offered to accompany me. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go and investigate the burning ward before we change our minds. We'll need to leave this ward first. Oh, really? We need to leave this building to go into another building, Claude? Thank you. The real question is where the crap is the elevator here? No, that's an actual room. Like, I went in there. Is that it? Is that the elevator? Nope, it is not the elevator. I have a feeling I'm just gonna end up going downstairs and riding the elevator from there. <laughs> oh, maybe there actually is no elevator here. Maybe that's why it's grayed out. The butt, that is. Or at least that's what the text would have me believe. Alright, uh, okay. Wait for this horror to move past, then we're gonna run behind it. Alright, did it. We did it! To the first floor. Alright. To the burning building. To which Otto cleverly pointed out, he's been in a burning castle before. What's a burning building? Oh, do you really? That's pretty cool. I also work for an American company, but I am in, you know, America, so... It makes perfect sense. What system do you mean, like, for, um, like, measurements and stuff? Oh, Nike? Hmm. It certainly looks familiar. I've seen this scene before. I gotcha. Yeah, a lot of... I think a lot of people do that are outside the U.S., honestly. <laughs> Which is good. We should use it, too, honestly. Ugh, this is hot. It's just like that time. I couldn't save anyone. Just like in that fire. It's her doing again. No doubt about it. Again, I'm powerless. Hmm. Well, thanks for stopping by, guy. I don't want to be famous. And I'm not buying followers. But thanks for stopping by anyway. Help me. Huh? What was that? It's so hot. Help. Is somebody in there? Hang on in there. You'll be fine. I will be? Yes, don't worry. I'll get you out of here. I'm not certain that it worked just like that. 
Was that Aisuka? So you did cross paths with Mayu before. Yes. Now it's all come back to me. Thank you for the follow, my friend. I appreciate it. You saved Mayu from the hospital fire. It was a long time ago. This is what prompted me to join Idea, actually. At that time, I was desperately trying to put a stop to a series of atrocities perpetrated by a certain person. When I carried Mayu out of the fire, I wasn't thinking about her. It was about partially foiling that person's evil scheme. I was so preoccupied with that and blind to anything else that was going on. I'm so, uh, I'm so embarrassed to think of it now. Don't be so harsh on yourself. You had a lot on your plate. At least getting involved in that case led to the then head of idea approaching me. For idea, joining forces to solve cases together was obvious and natural. I joined idea and strove to solve any case we took on. Eventually, I became the leader of idea. Then came the Dark Apple incidents. I was insanely busy and forgot all about the hospital fire and the girl I'd saved. Well, now you've remembered it. Do you think this info can help us get through to, Sha to, to Mayu somehow? I'm afraid not. If it was in my power, if it was within my power to persuade her, this case would have been solved already. I'm sorry I dragged you here on a hunch, and it did not even yield us any useful clues. Well, I have a theory. The clock, the clock tower creature might be able to help us. That chimera. Excuse me. It has been present in many different dream worlds. It doesn't seem bound by the dreamer's will or any rules within those worlds. It may sound like a wild idea, but it has helped us. But it has helped us resolve the other cases in the past. In Saki's dream world too, we thought we were stuck, but it gave us the push we needed to succeed. That sounds promising. Let's go to the clock tower and have a chat with that critter. Yeah, I am I am very much looking forward to getting to Ida 3 and some of the new stuff. I think I've got more story chapters to complete. But thanks for stopping by and thanks for the follow, DD Woo. And uh, have a good sleep and have a good day at work. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're going to the clock tower. <laughs> Take care, man. Alright. Need more memories. Not enough. As I thought, we need more memory fragments. You knew it'd say that? It always asks us for them whenever we're getting close to unraveling the mystery of the dream world. But we've already found so many. Maybe they will suffice? Let's ask it. They should suffice. Is it going to tell me how many I need to collect? Okay, it just says show them, which means I have enough, I believe. DC are memories. Many, many memories. Seems like we brought enough. Our efforts paid off. You had to go through all this for me too. Collecting memories, finding your way through my dream world. I'm really grateful. I hope this time I can return the favor. Can you help us get to Mayu? I know put memory bits together now, maybe. You can help Mayu. Well, hello. Where are we? Forgive me, Mayu. I was not able to fulfill my promise. Excuse me. Are you Mayu's father? Indeed I am. And who are you? Ah, uh, I thought they looked alike. Mayu's father was on the list of victims of the hospital fire. So he died just before you saved her. Unfortunately, yes. We're here to save Mayu. 
Ah, you're her friends. I'm glad she has some. I devoted my whole life to finding a way to save her. In my conceit, I believed I would find a cure for her illness. She must despise me now. She's doomed to slowly fade away, eaten away by her terminal illness. I'm sure that's the case. That's why she can find me here, and won't even try to remember me. She's lost hope of ever finding a place for herself in the real world. Maybe, but... There was a time when I too thought I had no right to exist in the real world. I was wrong, though. My friends rescued me and made me feel glad to be alive. That's why this time I want to do the same for Mayu. You remind me of Mayu in some way. You may be the right person to trust with the memories. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. <clears throat> you may be the right person to trust with the memories that Mayu lost and is not even trying to remember. Uh-oh. Dad? I can't go any further. At least I got you out of that room. No, Dad. Please don't say that. You can't die. Go, Mayu. You must escape this fire. The hospital's database contains my report about your... Daddy! No! Oh, no. So, wait, didn't we just see the memory of Aisuka carrying Mayu out? Did she not see her dad there as well? I don't understand. Mayu. His last words were about the hospital database. The real world special ward must have has been abandoned, having suffered extensive damage in the fire. No time. Walk the bridge of memories. Go. Save Mayu. What's this light? The chimera. It vanished? Its job here was done, I suppose. Before we walk the Bridge of Light, I'd like to check the hospital database that Mayu's father mentioned. It must be important if those were his last words. Let's go to the abandoned special ward. Hopefully we'll find something in the real world. Hopefully. Okay. No, I can't just bounce out of here, huh? We gotta chat first. Whoa, what's going on? The whole dream world is shaking. Isuka! Don't tell me you came all the way here from Aqua Hills without an escort. No time to be arguing about this. The dream world is shrinking. What? It's become dangerously unstable. The place may this place may crumble to dust any moment. You must leave at once. All right, you heard her. We must get out of here immediately. Seems to me if you had to get out immediately, maybe you would just run through the grass. Whew, you made it out safe. You made it safely out of there. That was really close. The dream world is all out of balance. Why is it shrinking? That's likely due to its dreamer's deteriorating, deteriorating physical condition. Oh. Poor Mayu. Ah, where did they come from? There's a commotion outside the room. What's going on? Are there monsters out here? There are monsters out here. We're under attack. No way. Dream World monsters worm their way in here? We must dispatch them at once. Ba -da 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 -da. Nope, that's that. So I'm guessing. Oh, nope, they didn't put up any fight whatsoever. 
usually like those little cutscene monsters put up a little bit more of a fight. There's more? Ugh, what do we do? It's worse than I thought. Left unchecked, dream worlds start overflowing into reality. That's why idea at idea we prioritize these incidents above all others. We've never had dream world monsters crossing it over into our world in such numbers before, though. Right from the very beginning, we could tell that this dream world was unlike anything we've had to deal with before. Remember, there was lots of talk about it. It all started with the clock tower breaking the real world, and rumors about it being the dream world's interference. Those weren't just rumors, as it turned out. We are really pressed for time. We must put a stop to this, or before long, I Ida City will be swarming with monsters. There are so many of them. It's crazy. Saki, behind you. What? Oh, well, hello there, Jade. You've got to be more careful, sis. You tend to get focused on one thing so much you lose sight of others. Oh, Jade's here to stab some dudes. Thank you for your help, Jade. I did what the situation demanded, that's all. Oh, you're going to be all stoic after opening up to us, huh? Thanks, Jade. You look really determined, Saki. Remember, when you set your heart on something, you've got to follow through all the way. You're just going to stab and go? Alright, that's fine. Not exactly a social butterfly, but he's a skilled fighter. He can be standoffish at times, but his heart's in the right place. Reminds me of someone, actually. Hmm. Back to the topic at hand. It would seem we've managed to stem the deluge of monsters. <laughs> the other members of IDEA should be able to handle the leftovers. Meanwhile, we can continue our investigation. Let's go to the burnt hospital ward. Ooh. Yawning like crazy. I don't know why. Okay, so let's walk out of here. Yep, go this way. Thank you. I've secured us access, but this area is restricted for good reason. We must proceed with caution and quickly. Nod. The first floor isn't that badly damaged. The fire spread to the upper levels. Luckily for us, power hasn't been cut off. I hope you can find something, Aizuka. With all the technology that they are at this far in the future, do they not have like fire suppression systems in these buildings? Seems like poor planning to me. Hmm. I see. There's still data saved on the internal server. It cannot be accessed outside the hospital. What did you find? I can't tell you yet. It's password protected. Eight numbers. We only have three attempts. Tisk. That's disappointing. Our IT staff are busy enough as it is trying to contain the dream world interferences. We might have to come back to this later, after the dream world has been somewhat stabilized. No, this may be crucial information. We'll have to redirect some of our resources here and crack the password. May I try? Saki? Let me try it just one time. If it doesn't work, we can wait for the idea code crackers. That glint in your eyes tells me you have an idea what this password might be. Okay, go ahead and try it. Don't worry if it doesn't work, though. It may take longer, but my team will definitely crack it in the end. Thank you, Aisuka. Password correct. Access granted. Dang. It worked! Good job, Saki. How did you know what it was? Since Mayu's dad said he devoted his life to trying to save her, I thought the password might be related to her. So I tried her birthday. That's clever. 
and I'm fortunate that you knew her birthday. You've saved us a lot of time. Of course I knew it. Mayu's my close friend. So what's in the file? Is this what I think it is? Take a look, guys. Is this real? It's from the ops team. Aisuka here. What have you got? Ah, okay. We're done here too. We'll be back soon. Any new developments? The dream world is finally stabilized. Perfect timing. I hope this data can help us save Mayu. And sure it will. Now let's return to her dream world. Okay. To the map. To why the school. I gotta walk there, huh? Alright. That's fine. Make me walk places. Here I am trying to be lazy. I could have taken the elevator, huh? It works in the regular world. Ba, da, 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 da. Or in the real world, I suppose I should say. Not the regular world. <laughs> the non-dream world. Huh? Where are we? It's not the city entrance, that's for sure. This is the medical realm. Look, over there. Oh man, the city's falling apart. The city is gone? Hmm. Gosh darn it. Everything outside the medical realm is gone. What a drastic change. From the biggest ever dream world to such a small one. This means we don't have much time left, no? Then we must hurry. Let's go to room 404. I mean, are we sure that that's, like... Didn't they leave room 404? Why are we going back to it? Oh, I can travel to Mayu's dream world again on the map. That's convenient. Alright, let's check again. Yeah, there's no elevator on the fourth floor. That's fine. Ding! That was a pretty late ding. I was already here. Alright, let's see if I can sneak. Ugh. Okay, oh, he's still got a ways to walk. I just haven't uncovered the path that far. It wasn't as tight a squeeze as I thought it was. Time to send you where you belong. Here we go. That. Oh, that's the Bridge of Light, huh? I think it's safe for us to walk on, but where did it come from? From the Chimera? Maybe it's a parting gift from the creature we met earlier. My use at the end of this shining walkway. Let's go and save her. Here we go! The end of the quest. Or, oh, we're going towards the end. What is this? Whoa! Whoa! Hey, you know that girl we saw? Apparently she was visiting this hospital earlier. The idealist, Aisuka? I've seen her here before as well. I guess she must have been investigating. Isn't she just adorable? I love that butterfly hair accessory she wears. A butterfly hair accessory? So this is the person that saved me from the fire. I guess she's the sort of person that's always protecting others and being helpful. Not only did she save me, but she even let me into her home. 
how wonderful she is. I guess it's okay for me to exist in the wor in this world. If there's a person like this protecting me. <clears throat> that was one of Aisuka's memories. Since that memory was from after the fire, she would have already been transferred to the general ward. So, Mayu came to your room after the fire, Aisuka? Well, yeah. The hospital was in a mess, so I let her stay over for a while. Oh, I see. Seeing as Ac Aqua Hills was so accurately recreated in her dream world, her stay there must have been an unforgettable experience. I don't know if it will make up for my errors, but I'm going to do whatever it takes to get her out of that place. That memory from earlier made it as clear as daylight. Mayu wants to live. I saw a kid going past earlier, enjoying this really ridiculous looking pan- delicious looking pancake. <laughs> Maybe it was a reward for putting up with a nasty injection or something. Hmm. If I tried to live more positively as well, it might be worth it. Saki, you know I've never tasted anything except hospital food. I want to try things like pancakes as well. Pancakes are tasty, right? Ah, what a stupid fantasy. I probably won't even live long enough to get to eat many more sweet things. What's the point in being positive? It's just a facade, and things really are hopeless. That's pretty sad. Don't blame yourself, Saki. Oh, Mayu. I shouldn't have said those sorts of things to you. She'll probably hate me now. She'll think I gave her false hope. But I have to face her anyway. I have to be brave. This is my way of doing things now. I won't back down when it's time to face a trial. Hmm. Me, an idealist. Working alongside Isuka and actually being useful was never anything more than a dream. I can hardly move my legs, and these are the cause of all my troubles? How stupid. If I didn't need them, I could fly instead. Me and Isuka could... I could be like Isuka. Flawless and charismatic. An ideal idealist. The bell's clang resounds throughout the room. Hmm. At, please. Who is it? This is a dark apple. Eat it and your wishes will be granted. It looks poisonous. Well, how much worse can things get? If you're telling the truth, it'll grant my wish. It will grant any wish. It's that android again. What do I have to lose? It's poison that I die, or I gain everything. So let's find out whether it was worth me being born into this world or not. These freaking apples, man. They're bad news. So Mayu was lured in by the promise of the Dark Apple, and thus this dream world was born. We've come deep into it now. We've got to see this through to the end. May I remind you that I've used three of Duan Helios' arrows. As if I'm heading back now. What a waste that would be. Huh. Come on. I know you really want to help Mayu out too. It would not be befitting of royalty to be inattentive, inattentive to the struggles of the people. Clearly there are some complicated issues to sort out between these three girls. I think of it as my duty to assist in resolving them and helping tie up all of the ends neatly. 
If possible, I'd like to see this out in style. You know you can always trust a royal to put on to put some fancy icing on the cake. I don't know what that means, dude. All right. Here it comes. Big bad boss man. I'm going to murder it with my wind team. Why can't you leave me alone? Can't I spend my last moments in peace? Mayu, you can't stay here, or you'll never be able to return to the real world. We've come to save you. I don't need any saving. This may be just a fake world, but I was enjoying a normal life here. Till you came and started messing around. A normal life was what you wished for from the Dark Apple? You wanted to have a taste of an ordinary life in a town all your own? Populated by imaginary people? What's wrong with that? It was better than waiting for death confined to my hospital bed. But now my feet won't move anymore. My body doesn't listen to me. It's as if it is no longer my own. You have no right to criticize me for what I've done. Anyone would do the same in my place. I understand. You were in so much anguish. And eating the dark apple seemed like the only way to get some relief from it. Shut up. What do you know? I think I know what you really wanted. You wanted to be remembered, isn't that right? There can be no such thing. That's the wish you were afraid to even admit to yourself. The dream world Aisuka isn't the one who once helped you. It's Aisuka who became a member of Idea. You long to meet Aisuka as she is now, not to recreate the Aisuka of your memories. It's terrifying to be forgotten. The crowd outside your room at the hospital in the real world was a manifestation of your wish to be remembered. Oh yeah, at the beginning, that crowd that disappeared. You didn't want to talk to me anymore. You didn't want to talk to me anymore, Mayu. That's because I inadvertently hurt you, isn't it? I don't know why that sentence was hard for me to read. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't realize it sounded dismissive to you because I really believed in what I said. Don't give up on optimism. Positive thinking can help us get through the rough times in our lives. To be optimistic, you need to have a future, and I don't. Please listen to me, Mayu. Oh, it's about to go down. Damn, getting a sense of deja vu. It's the same story as when we were rescuing Saki. I'm not going to give up. I'll save Mayu, just like you saved me. Dream Cocoon. Alright, uh, nope, let's do that. Freeze emitter. Oh yeah, this is gonna be quick. Self-magic. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh! 123k. This world, it's Mayu's dream. Even if it is all an illusion, at least here I can die knowing the happiness of a normal life. It did just change forms. We just, like, broke the cocoon. Please, don't shatter my dream. This isn't what Mayu would have wanted. Her wish wouldn't have turned out like this. When I'm in this world, I can feel Mayu's loneliness. Her fear that she'll disappear. It's so vivid it makes my heart ache. I've made my decision. I'm going to set Mayu free from this nightmare once and for all. Oh, I keep all my buffs and everything, and it's AF time. Yep. 
Sorry, butterfly thing. Oh, you're not taking any more damage now? That's fine. You can just let it run out then. Stupid phased fights. You know what's dumb is he shouldn't have been able to debuff me because Claude was using his freaking attack. Oh, he didn't get poisoned. Yeah, heal soul. Alright, right back to attacking. Rejection. Oh, wow. Hold up. That was a lot of damage. Alright, Dragon Saw, you can go, and we'll just leave Dunerith to continue DPSing. Alright, there he is. Boom! Take that, you stupid butterfly thing. I always looked up to you, Asuka, but all along I knew I could never be like you. I had no right to even to live in the peaceful world around you. You were the leader of idea, respected by everyone, always busy helping others and keeping the peace. Meanwhile, I was slowly dying, all forgotten. It was as if we lived in different worlds to begin with. Excuse me. Her life hasn't always been easy. She's also been through a lot, you know. Even now, she continues to face lots of problems. Everyone has their own fears. People like Aisuka find it in themselves to confront them and push on regardless. I also want to escape sometimes. No one can always be strong and brave. But there are times when I know I have to be strong for someone else. There's someone here who wants to be strong for you. There's no place for me outside of this world. Just leave me alone already, please. I was just like you, Mayu. I didn't trust anyone, didn't believe in anything. That's why I ate a dark apple. You did too? Yes, I thought I wasn't wanted by anyone in the whole world, but my friends showed me otherwise. So now it's my turn to tell you that you are wanted. I want to be there for you through the hard times. You want to be there for me? But I don't deserve that. You must not think that way. Everyone deserves friendship. Don't undervalue yourself. No, you matter and you can do what no one else can. Only you understand me, having experienced the despair that led to secluding ourselves in dream worlds. You have the ability to understand other people's suffering because you've suffered yourself. Talking to you in the waiting room at the hospital really helped me, you know? That's why I can never, ever forget you. So don't worry about that, okay? You promise you'll never forget me? Of course, you're my friend. Well, maybe you didn't think of me that way. But maybe... You would accept me as a friend now? Thank you, Saki. But I don't have much time left. Nobody. Nobody can help me. I wanted to live out my last days happily here, rather than pin my hopes on fantasy and die like my mom. Your mom was ill too? She suffered from the same illness as me. She went for surgery and never returned. I overheard talk of it at her funeral. The chance of success was maybe one in a million, but she decided to try it. You guys talk about being strong and facing your fears. 
but being strong and thinking positively won't help me. The surgery is pretty much guaranteed to fail. Mayu, please take a look at this. What's this? A memento from your father. The father from your memories. Huh? It's not a letter, is it? Too many pages. Is this some kind of document? I dedicate my research to my beloved late wife and my dear daughter. Is this real? It's a paper suggesting improvements for the sur to the surgery for your illness. Your father, who we met in this dream world, gave it to us. We accessed this data guessing that the password would be your birthday. <gasps> the success rate of the surgery isn't as low as you think. Not only thanks to your father's research, improvements in medicine are being made every day. The world never stops to change, Mayu. You just never noticed because you were too afraid to look. You've turned away not only from your fears, but from all of reality. Leave this imaginary cage and spread your wings in the real world with its infinite possibilities. Aisuka. Don't turn away from reality anymore, Mayu. Face it and then make your decisions. The surgery still only offers a small chance of success, but it's not as hopeless as you think. But don't worry, I'll be there with you every step of the way. You won't be alone. I'll be there to support you when you're afraid, so don't run away anymore. Will you come back with us? Don't be afraid of tomorrow. It awaits you, and we do too. You want me to look forward to the future? I used to be afraid of nightfall as much as the dawn. Thought that once I fell asleep, I might not wake up again. That the next day I'd be all forgotten and die all alone. But you believe I have a future? You do. I'll be there for you tomorrow, and the day after, and the next day. You won't be alone. Did we do it? Hi, Saki. How's Mayu doing? You visit her every day, don't you? Yes, she hasn't decided about the surgery yet. Ah, well, no need to hurry. She'll make the right decision for herself. You're there for her, so she needs not be afraid. Honestly, I don't know what's better for her. Should she try the surgery or not risk it, and try to enjoy the time she has left? But I think it's important that she makes the choice without tell anyone telling her what they think is right. I agree. You've changed since you two became friends. I have? Saki, by the way, I brought you something. It's a dark apple. What's this? I told Aisuka it was too soon, but she wouldn't listen to me. A white uniform? What? Why are you giving this to me? You might not have noticed, but you've really matured since the last case. I'm leaving this uniform with you. Let me know if you'd like to join us. We've dealt with my used dream world, but the frequency and scale of dream world appearances is on the rise. Having you on the team would be a great help. There's strength in numbers, as Aldo says, and you'd be a very valuable team member. Definitely. Um, I still can't believe this is really happening, so please give me some time to think about it. Of course, we're not pushing this on you. The choice is yours, so make sure whatever you decide is what you're comfortable with. Th that's right. Yes. We still have some loose ends to tie up after the last case, so we'll see you later. For the time being, take care. Oh, and Aldo, never hesitate to ask us for help. This case turned out to be tougher than I'd bargained for, but it all ended well. Congrats on the idea invite. I still find it hard to believe they want me. I think my brother would make a better fit. Huh? You think this uniform would look better on Jade? That's not what she meant, Aldo. Th thank you. That's not what I meant, silly. Ah, right. So, anyway, what are you going to do from now on? I'll need a while to think about whether to join Idea or not. 
At least, I have no regrets about using my power. I feel that I did the right thing. Oh, look at the time. I'm off to see Mayu. Bye. Say hi to her from me. Yeah, why don't you just go with her, Aldo? What are you doing? Hello, Saki. How are you feeling? You seem a bit better than before. Thank you. It felt like a dream, you know, but it really happened. Aisuka told me that dream worlds were really just nightmares. Real dreams should be beautiful and full of hope. But dream worlds only offer false hope to those who are in despair, only to trap them in a cycle of misery. That's right, you've been through this too, haven't you? But you know, it helped me become more positive. I already lived through a nightmare in the dream world, so now I want to chase my dreams in the real one. I wish I could also chase my dreams. Maybe if I recover one day. Saki, why did you try so hard to save me? Why? Hmm. At first it was because I felt like I had this debt to repay after being rescued myself. But I wasn't thinking about that at all when I met you in the dream world. I think in the end I did it because I really wanted to be friends with you. I kind of forced myself on you, didn't I? Haha, <laughs> you're funny. I'm so happy you did, though. Thank you. I believe you that you will never forget me, whatever happens. And that's why I finally made up my mind about what to do. I don't know if it's the right choice, but... You really just, it's going to drop us right there. We're not going to find out if she's doing the thing or not. Quest complete. That is the end of Butterfly City in Heaven's Cradle, Ida School Part 2. Chapter 4, Heaven's Cradle. Bump Saki up to 4 stars. Got her VC to level 3. We're going to go hit and hit OK because last time I did this, there was a uh, like follow-on cutscene. Maybe there's going to be another one here. Let's see. Yes, there is. OK. And those were all our findings. What do you think, Hismena? I think this confirms our theory. Indeed, a pan pattern is certainly emerging. I agree with his mana. Our theory seems to be spot on. Next time a dream world appears, I'd like to join the on-site investigation. We have it figured out on paper. We just need to check it in practice now. Yes, you probably should see it for yourself. Fine, I'll put you on the team. From the next time on, we should all go on the offensive. Someone's behind these serial dream world incidents and we'll smoke them out. Oh, you little android. Requesting access. Approved. Search database. Found. Determining response. Hmm. Good night, sweet dreams. To be continued. <laughs> okay. That is the end of Ida School Part 2. So, thanks uh, everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, check me out at twitch.tv corndog913. Otherwise, I'll see you for the next episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.